so the white man lied about his history. If we go to 10,000 BCE, it starts at the end of the Ice Age, right? And they say this, this is just a date of the earlier origin for the Sphinx. Remember, humans found in caves in England, North Yorkshire, people occupying southern and northern France, stone structures at Jericho, domesticated dogs. Okay, the glaciers melting caused flooding. So the flood that they were referring to was the one that the Sumerians were referring to. It had to do with Enlil and Inki. Enlil being the god of storms and floods, whatever. Okay, so that much I agree with on the history side. This is when we start disagreeing. We start about 8,500 BCE, okay, around the time of the Sumerians and the Ubayad cultures and the pottery, etc., starting to emerge. These are Semitic people who ended up in Africa. I'll explain that in a second. So it talks about the bone discovered in Africa. They have notches representing the prime numbers. Talk about there's, eight, there's people in Asia and North and South America in 8000 BC. And you have nomadic hunters arrive in England. So remember, the nomads in England are not the Sumerians, because where are the Sumerians? They're in the Middle East. The nomads are in England. Sumer is taking place, and it's not going to end until the Babylonians replace them. 5,000 B.C., 4,000 B.C. Now, we go on. Domesticated cat, blah, blah, blah. Eastern Mesopotamia, blah, blah, blah. People in Washington State resemble Asians. Fine. People went from Asia Minor to Crete. Fair enough. Indian Vita, or 6000 BCE. A new Y chromosome migrated from the Middle East to Europe. That's significant, but it's not enough to prove their point. It could mean anything. Yeah, that's where the they come from. The Afghanistan's. And that's where the Greece get the black from. Their E one B one. Okay, according to the Byzantine Empire, it was September 1st, 5, 509, when the world was created. Okay, and so in Egypt, after you already had mathematics thousands of years ago, then you have another fractional system. Then you have more floods, and they say this might have been Noah's fleet's flood, it's the Black Sea flood. And I can imagine why they said that, because of the location of the Black Sea, the Eurocentric point of view. Now we look at wine was made in Iran. That's a lie. They had wine in Egypt first. Irrigation started in Mesopotamia. Possibly. As far as that's when it started for them. Temples built in Mesopotamia. And what are the temples built on? The Sumerian gods. And where did the Sumerians get their gods? from the Africans, the Egyptians. The New Stone Age, so the Sumerians were people that were Semitic, they're half black, half white, you know, not exactly, that's not exactly how it breaks down, there's some Arab and other stuff in there too, but, you know, that's, that's basically how they break down. Okay, the world's population is 5 million in 5,000 BC. Interesting how it's 7 billion in 2000 AD. Now we go on. Okay. 
Okay, and this is when they, they admit the Neolithic Empire, the Neolithic area around the Nile, about 900 years before Menzies, pre-dynastic kings, etc. You can tell this is one racist, biased version of history. It says, occupied by light-skinned people in the north, Croatians in the south, Pygmies in the central force, and black-skinned people in the Saharas. So, of course, there was the time when the Berbers and the Libyans occupied Egypt. It's not to be confused with the ancient Egyptians being black. Now, yeah, the Mongols moving south, the Mongoloids, early forms of bread in China. Egypt divides, but it's united. You get the Mayan calendar supposedly begins there here. But the Mayans were actually given their calendar from the Olmecs and they actually came later. Matter of fact, let me show you that right now. Websites is probably the most reliable. <clears throat> Lostcivilization.net. The Maya are the probably best known of the classical civilizations of Mesoamerica. Mayan history starts in the Yucatan around 2600 BC. Mayan history rose to prominence around 250 AD. So the first true civilization was established with the rise of the Olmecs in pre-classical history. So you see the Olmecs gave them their calendar, like I said, even this history site recognizes that. Okay, and where did the Olmecs get their ideas? From ancient Egypt. So when the Mayans start building pyramids, because the Nubians who migrated over, and obviously the Nubians are black, I've proven that in many videos. Thank you.